Hi there. We're now at the midpoint of this season of small group ministry at Cross Lutheran Church and School. And as you're gathered with your small group, I want to let you in on a little insight. You are in a room with people. Maybe you've heard before that life would be a whole lot easier if it weren't for the people. Spoiler alert, you and, and me, we're people. And sometimes we do things that makes life difficult for one another. God knows this, and he's had a plan all along. Sometimes we think about why God does the things that he does. And we don't always get answers for those, but here in the reading that you'll get from God's word today, from Romans chapter three, God shares a little bit about why he has done some of the things that he does. And he wants us to know that he's done that for this moment. Listen to Romans chapter three, verse 26. It was to show God's righteousness at the present time so that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. This is the answer to those questions of why did Jesus have to die on the cross? And why didn't God just wipe out humanity from the face of the earth because of how sinful we are, because we haven't lived up to his perfect standards because we've fallen into sin. God did all that he has done for us for this moment, that we might see his heart, that we might have a better sense of who he is, that he is the one who is right. And maybe even better than that, he's the one who makes us right too. You see, God has done something for us and it is a big and wonderful gift he has forgiven us. He has cleansed away our sins. He's made us his own children through baptism. He has justified us in his sight. And because he's forgiven us, he says in this moment, there's something I want you to be about too. I want you to be not only people who have been forgiven, but people who have the ability by the work of my son to forgive other people too. And as you are about that work of forgiveness, I'm going to be do something among you. I'm gonna be showing the world who I am, that I am the one who forgives others also. That's a message we get to share because of what Jesus has done for us. It's a wonderful privilege and honor and joy to be involved in this economy of grace, this work of forgiveness as God is active through his son by his spirit in this world in which he gives us life and calls us to trust in him. I pray that as you spend time in this chapter of Romans, that God will help open up his word to you. That you might trust in him well and that you might find opportunities to be involved in his work in this world.